welcome back to another book news video. Miss Salem is here with me today and today I just wanted to have a chit chat with you. Um, I recently was able to get a bullet journal, well a journal on sale um, at Walmart and it was like three dollars I think. It's dotted pages, it's uh, not the best paper but a paper I could deal with um, and uh, use. So I was looking for a video on YouTube here that had like different types of bullet journals um, or different types of journals that you might want to set up and I couldn't find one anywhere. I found different videos of, you know, other booktubers who said, oh, well, I have a personal one, I have this, I have that, and showed them, but nothing that like gave me any ideas of what I could use my journal for. So I thought I would put this video out um, with it being Bookmas my bookmas videos and almost the end of the year maybe you want to set one of these up and you hadn't thought about it um i'm gonna insert pictures of my own built journal or inspiration journals um for the type i'm saying i'll just insert somewhere around my head um if i do end up doing somebody else's inspiration or somebody else's photo i will give them credit down in the description so look down there if you want more ideas um, but most of it's going to be from my own journal and from my own, um, my 2021 setup, because I've already done that. But, um, I thought it'd be fun to do this and to, like, talk it kind of through and see if I want to use that journal for one of these purposes or if I just want to hang on to it for 2022 or, you know, the second half of 2021. I don't think I want to use it for a second half of 2021 because of the paper in it. Um, it's usable, don't get me wrong. It's just skinnier. Oh, I'm sorry, photo. It's skinnier than the one I'm currently using for the first of 2021. Um, I've used one like that before and absolutely loved it. Um, but yeah, so without further ado, let's get through it. <laughs> could talk, possibly use a bullet journal for it is a hobbies journal. And I say hobbies because my hobby is reading and YouTube, obviously. Um, while I do do a lot of reading and I like tracking my reading over the year and I like, you know, stats and stuff, which there will be a video for that. Um, I also know that not everyone likes to read if you like to sew. If you like to sew and you want to start a bullet journal for sewing, I highly re recommend, um, Sunshine and Stationery, she has a journal that she uses for her sewing projects where she writes notes and like, oh, well, this pattern didn't work for this reason or, hey, you have to add an extra third of an inch to this pattern or whatever. And she has a journal that she keeps for that purpose. Um, I would highly recommend looking her up if you're wanting to like a syrup sewing journal. You could do knitting if you have certain pat knit patterns you liked or you didn't like this one, you could keep a journal. That way you could look back and go, oh right, I didn't like that pattern for this reason. Maybe let's change it to this. Be a good way to track that. Um, if you watch a lot of TV or movies and that's kind of your thing, you definitely, definitely could do like a movie tracker. What I read this month, or this year, um, um, or what I watched this year, excuse me, what I watched this year, or, sorry, my mom texted me, um, what I watched this year and things like that. Um, another one, cooking. I am actually thinking about doing a recipe bullet journal, uh, because I had one that I started a long time ago. It's just gotten, it's gotten to the point where it needs to be redone and it just needs to be written back out and everything. So I have just one of those. Um, I will insert pictures of my recipe journal here. It's lined and I didn't like the lines. I don't like the lines. So I'm hoping to go back with a dotted journal and redo it. I don't want to do the one I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to use, what I'm going to use it for because it's so skinny. Um, I want one that's bigger than that and they do make one bigger. I just have to go get it. Um, I'm looking at maybe, I'm not good with sizes. I won't be an A5, be bigger than an A5, almost a letter. So 11 by seven size journal. Um, that's what I want to use. So if I can figure out what the sizing is, I'll put it in the, on the screen. Um, another one you could use, another another thing you could use a bullet journal for besides a bullet journal. So this is, when I say using a journal for, this is you already have a bullet journal that you daily plan and things in. This is a second journal you want to keep. And you're just not sure what you want to put in it. Um, collections. I know that, oh, what is 
is her name. I know it's Jessie, Jessie Curran. Um, she has a collection bullet journal. So anything that she needs for longer than six months, she puts in her collection journal. So she doesn't have to redo it every time. I think that's a really, really cool idea. Um, personally, I don't have anything that I use more than six months. Um, and if I do, I'll re I usually want to redo it. I don't like the way the structure worked out or whatever. Um, I'm always evolving my system. So I, that's not something I would want, but that is an idea that would be really cool. Um, another one I know that people do is a home journal. So like you can put your bills in it. I had for a really long time, a budget journal, budget home journal, and it stayed at my house and I had all my account numbers and everything. Um, all my like, uh, logins for my bills and things that I had to pay with the password in it. There was also, um, anything like my Netflix subscription and stuff like that went in there and planned out all my bills went in there, anything around the house I needed to get done. So like flipping my mattress was in there when I do that last, um, when's the last time we cleaned out the vent for the dryer, um, things like that, that was in that journal. And that would be really helpful, especially if you're married and are and have kids and your kids are like, well, when's the last time I changed my toothbrush? I don't know. Mom keeps track of it or bullet journal, what bullet journals that work with her. I can't check it right now. Um, be cool to have like a, just a journal that every, you know, that your partner or your kids have access to, to go, okay, cool. That's the login for this. And they don't have to text you a million times going, Hey, what's the login for, you know, whatever. Cause that's how it is in my family. Um, next, which this one really falls in the last one, which is a finance planner. You could definitely do it that way. Um, track your debt, track your savings. Um, again, count numbers and all that kind of stuff because I know a lot of us will forget a password all the time. I work in tech support. 90% of the calls are, hey, I forgot my password for this. Can we reset it? Or can you walk me through resetting the password for whatever? Um, so I highly suggest keeping a, like a password journal that you have written down and you can do an erasable pen. There's mine. Okay. I have an erasable pen that I absolutely love. I just started using this this month um i needed a new black pen and i wanted to do my journal completely in black pen see what i thought um so i bought you know pens and i love this because it is erasable this is the friction friction ball ball friction clicker 0.7 erasable pen they do have a 0.5 i think but i didn't think i would like that fine of a writer of a you know of a mark basically um so you could definitely use something like this and erase the password when you update it or a pencil and erase it when you update it i will say that i do keep my passwords in my bullet journal but i don't write down my username i usually just put something that will help me remember what the username is or the email that it's attached to um so i'll put like personal email or my gmail that way i know what email i'm talking about but some hacker or somebody who picked up my bullet journal wouldn't and then I write the full password out. That way, you know, I have it. Um, and that way I don't ever forget what a password is. Next, lettering, lettering practice. You could definitely use a dotted bullet journal for lettering practice, especially if you're doing something like hand lettering or um, even if you're just trying to make your handwriting more legible, you could definitely write it out, you know, circle it and just do practice in there every day kind of daily to make sure that your lettering practice is, you know, or your handwriting is where you want it to be. Um, especially in a digital age where we don't write down anything anymore. We don't do long hand or handwritten anything. It'd be good to have something like that that you can handwrite. That way you don't lose that skill. Um, next is yearly stats. Again, I told you about Jessica Curran who does a collection journal, but you can also do like your yearly stats. How has my power fluctuated? How is my gas, you know, the gas I use for the house in fluctuated? Because I have natural gas heaters in my house. Um, how have the kids grown? Um, how has the cat grown? I'm sorry if you can hear them and they're playing with whatever. They're probably in a box. Um, you know, stuff like that. Um, I bought this thing in the first year. Have we really used it or not? Like, what are the stats of me using it? Should I repurchase it? You know, that kind of thing be cool to have one. Um, and last, a dream journal, which I know a lot of people journal in their bullet journal, but you could use it as a dream journal where you would every day morning when you wake up, 
you would write a few lines of what you remembered if you dreamed or if you didn't dream you know you write that down i think that would be a really cool idea um yeah those are just some of the ideas i had for using a second journal along with your bullet journal if you have any any more leave them down below tell me about them maybe it's something i could use you know my extra journal for and the only other thing i wanted to talk about in this one is actually a tip or a few tips and tricks when it comes to bullet journaling especially if you're thinking about starting one for 2021 um, my number one tip that I found that I love is I do any new collections I have that I want to do, want to start, I put them at the back of my journal. So let me flip back this way. So this year, and I'll insert photos, this year I decided I wanted to do a washi tape spread after I'd already started my journal. So I added it in the behind, at the end of my journal. Um, I added a instagram and video idea i did those at the back of my journal that way i would have them and i didn't have to flip through the journal to find them i also did a surprise to try i did i'm looking i did a full moon or a moon spread moon face spread because i wanted this in my bullet journal so i could look back and reference it during the months um i also did a books to check out and books to buy again i'm a book channel and i do come along come across a lot of books when I watch booktube videos and things, I'm like, oh, I really want to read, want to go read the synopsis for that, or oh, that looks really good. I should put that on my, you know, wish list or whatever. And then I forget about them, so I made a spread at the back of my journal. That way, I would have it to go. Okay, well, this book I wanted to look at. Do I still want to let me go read the synopsis, especially with it being Christmas time? You know, it's kind of great to have. Um, but yeah, that's all I really have. If you have any questions about bullet journaling or about any of the um, types of journals I've listed or you know talked about here leave me a comment below I will be happy to answer any comments you have and I will see y'all in the next video which should be tomorrow uh bye guys